This tutorial is going to teach you how to stitch this embroidery hoop to make a little ornament. So you're going to need your hoop with your fabric, you need your thread, and your needle. So we're going to start by taking our needle and our thread, and you're just going to unwrap some thread from this plastic bobbin. You're going to unwrap as much as you think you're comfortable using. So don't take too much, but make sure you still get enough that you don't that you can stitch for a little while and not run out of thread. So I'm gonna unwrap mine a few times. And then once I think I have enough thread, I'm gonna cut the string. Okay, and then we're gonna thread our needle. So to thread our needle, it helps if you can lick the ends of your thread. Once you lick it, use your fingers to pinch it really tight like this. And this will help make the thread um, skinnier so you can get it through the needle. Then put it through the needle. You're gonna have this little tail hanging off. That You wanna have a tail that's kind of long so that your needle doesn't come unthreaded. On the other end of our thread, we're gonna tie a knot. So start by making a loop like this, and then you're gonna stick this tail through the loop and pull it tight. I like to do it two times in the same spot. So I'm gonna make a loop, then I'm gonna put this tail through the loop and pull it tight and get it onto the same spot as the other knot. Okay, once I have my knot, I'm ready to start stitching. So I'm gonna start by bringing my needle up from underneath my fabric. And I'm gonna start, you can pick anywhere to start. Here's where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna bring my needle up and I'm gonna do something called a back stitch. I'm gonna stitch backwards the whole time. So I'm gonna come up and then I'm gonna stitch push the needle back down through the fabric and I made my first stitch. Okay, I'm gonna show you again. I'm, I'm gonna bring my needle up. This time I'm gonna go a little bit ahead of my other stitch. Bring my needle up through the fabric and then bring it back down right in that same hole where that other stitch is. And now they're connecting. So the stitches are gonna touch each time. I'll show you again. I'm gonna bring the needle up one stitch forward. So I'm gonna go up a little bit pull the needle through and then I'm going to stitch back down right where that other stitch is so they're touching. And then I'm going to keep going all the way around my snowflake. So bring the needle up through the fabric and insert the needle back down so it's touching that other stitch that we already did. This is called a back stitch because you're kind of stitching backwards because you go ahead and then you stitch back, right? like this. And you're going to keep doing this until you've filled in the entire snowflake. So you're just going to go over all of the lines. And then once you've gone over all the lines, you're done. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video, but you can continue to watch. When you get to a part where you're running out of thread and it, the, the thread's starting to get too short, you need to get new thread. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. First, you need to tie a knot on the back so that it doesn't come undone. So here's what you do. You're gonna take your needle and you're gonna slide it underneath any of the stitches, any of the stitches that are close by. You're not going through the fabric, you're just sliding it underneath the stitch like that. You're gonna pull it but you're gonna let this little loop form. You see how the tail is making a loop right here? You're gonna keep that loop and you wanna put the needle through the loop and then pull it tight, okay? And you're gonna do it two times. So you're gonna go underneath the same stitch again, slide under the stitch, not through the fabric, just under the thread, okay? You're gonna pull it, but you're gonna let a little loop form. See that loop? You're gonna take the needle and put it through the loop and then you can pull it tight. Okay, once you've done that, you have a knot, like we've done it two times. And you can cut the thread 
and you're gonna get a new piece of thread. So I'm gonna get some more off of my plastic bobbin. And then once I find, once I have enough thread, I'm gonna thread my needle. Remember you can lick the ends of the thread and then squish the ends together like that. It will help you get it through the needle. And you're gonna put it through the eye of the needle and it have this little tail hanging. On the other side of your thread, you go all the way to the other end, you're gonna tie a knot. So remember, you're gonna make a loop and you're gonna tuck the tail in the loop and pull it tight. And I like to do it two times. So you put it through the loop and then pull it tight and try to get it on the same spot as the other knot because that will make that knot bigger. Okay. Once you're done with that, you're ready to start stitching again. So I'm just going to keep going right where I stopped. And I'm going to keep stitching around my snowflake. Okay, once you're done stitching the whole hoop, you're almost done. The last step we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck all this extra fabric around the back so that it's ready to hang on your Christmas tree. So, what we wanna do first is we first need to tie this off on the back. So remember how to do that. You take your needle underneath one of the stitches and then you let this loop form and you're gonna tuck your needle through the loop and pull it tight. And you're going to do it two times. So stick your needle underneath the thread. There's a little loop that's forming. I'm going to stick my needle through the loop and pull it tight. And now I have a knot. So I'm going to cut this part off and now I'm going to get ready to tuck all the fabric around the back of my hoop. So to do this I need to tie another knot in the um, on the bottom piece of my thread. So I'm going to tie a knot. And then I'm going to show you how to gather all the fabric on the back. You're going to start by inserting your needle at the edge of your fabric. You're just going to pull it through the fabric. Okay, so right now my thread's on the top side, on this side of my fabric. So now I'm going to come back down through my fabric and pull it. Now my thread's on this side, so I'm going to put my needle back through this side and pull it. And now I'm going to keep weaving around the edges of the fabric, going under, over, under, over, all the way around. And I'm leaving a little bit of a space between my stitches. We're going to keep going all the way around the circle. Once I get back to the beginning, I've got my knot part here and I have my tail of my thread here. I want to end so that my two pieces of thread are on the same side, so both ends are on the same side. I can take the needle off. I'm done with the needle. So now I have these two parts, my tail and the knot. I'm gonna take both ends, the knot side and the tail, I'm gonna hold them together and I'm gonna pull and all the thread, all the fabric's gonna cinch together. Pull in all of my fabric, okay? Now that I pulled it all in, I'm going to tie a knot so that it doesn't come undone. So it's like tying your shoe. I'm gonna cross them over and tuck it through Pull it tight, I'm gonna do it two times, so I'm gonna do it one more time. Cross them over, through the loop, pull it tight. Okay, so now I have a knot. I can cut the ends of the thread, and now I'm done. You can use some extra thread or find something to tie it around the top of your ornament and go hang it on your tree. 
If you can still see the pen marks underneath your thread, get an iron or you can have an adult help you get a get the iron or a blow dryer and the heat will erase the pen marks so you won't be able to see it anymore.